can't stop. I don't like it. My heart is broken. I'm gonna make it. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I am finally doing another empties video. Clearly, I've waited a long time. There's even more stuff. I got this little basket kind of situation from an Etsy store. She sent it to me a long time ago. I can't remember what her Etsy store name is. If this is from your Etsy store, please contact me and I will totally link her down below. This is so cute and I've started to put my empties in it. Why not put your trash in a really adorable little basket. This is my trash. Don't touch it. I'm making a video about it. It's a weird thing. Anyway, if you've never watched my empties videos before, I really like making empties videos because it's kind of like a favorites video. And you've used the whole thing, so you've got thoughts about every single thing, but I have a lot of things, so I'm going to try to keep my thoughts kind of brief. First, I have something very, very, very sad to talk about before I get into things that are in the basket. I bought this concealer yesterday night late last night. I'd been meaning to try it forever because it's like everyone's favorite. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and my friend Dana, who has a channel on YouTube, Dana Ann, Lolly Dolly 128, she told me, she finally pushed me over the edge and was like, no, you really need to try it. Bought it last night at Macy's and then today I was like midway through using it for the very first time and I dropped it and it broke and I'm pretty much devastated because I was really liking it and then it was like all down my leg and on the floor and uh, the glass was like chipped here I kind of broke off more of it because um, I tried to save my own day though I was very heartbroken and I used my little my little beauty spatula and I put it into a travel jar that I had on hand I'm not completely convinced that it's not full of shards of glass which is terrifying my heart is broken but I wanted to include this as an empty because um yeah I finished this product in less than 24 hours <sighs> I'm going on about this too long but are you devastated for me because I'm devastated for me on to the basket first up a moisturizer this is the Vaseline spray and go moisturizer it moisturizes in seconds and is the cocoa radiant version you probably know that I've been using the original Vaseline cocoa radiant lotion since high school all over my body after every bath shower whatever I love it it's my favorite this is an empty as well use the whole thing thank you very much and for some reason I decided to grab this I think it was when I was in California it's nice because it like absorbs quicker I don't think I like it more than the traditional lotion form um, and it makes like a weird sound when you're spraying it, it kind of sounds like a really old-school fax machine or something that's kind of exciting but I don't know next empty is a hairspray I got this one's from Sally's Beauty and it's called hairspray addict makes hair color two times more radiant and it's a color brightening and shine hairspray I liked this it did make my hair a little bit crunchy which I'm actually kind of a fan of um, the smell wasn't bad it was a good hold I didn't really notice anything crazy as far as like making it shinier which I was actually a little bit worried about because sometimes the shine products can make your hair feel a little bit greasy not bad another hairspray is the John Frieda luxurious volume visibly full touchably soft all day hold hairspray didn't love this one that much I mean I got by with it but it didn't help me that much sometimes if I'm gonna use hairspray I kind of want it to do something you know next up I've got this a dial hello kitty antibacterial foaming hand wash I got this at Target a long time ago I had in my bathroom I loved the way it smelled I think it's really cute. Loved it. I don't know if they still have it because I kind of had this for a long time. Sometimes I'm washing over here, sometimes I'm washing over here, and I have different soaps everywhere. I don't think that's very efficient, but whatever. Liked it. It's not anything special. Next up, I have a face powder. This is Maybelline Dream Wonder. I've been using it as a setting powder, a touch up powder through the day. And I've said in multiple videos already that I wasn't like that in love with it but for some reason I repurchased it already it doesn't look cakey but I don't know it's kind of here and there I don't like the packaging as much as I thought I did before so I don't know I got the color buff beige still on the fence about it even though I repurchased it next I've got two makeup removing towelettes and these are the ones that I love and I go to all the time this is the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes love these I definitely prefer the off-brand ones like the generic versions because they work just as good and they're not as pricey and then I also have the LA fresh oil-free face cleanser um, I don't love the scent of these actually but they work and they're really soft which is nice too whoa even more face wipes I use these 
every day at least once and these are the CVS pharmacy brand and they're the hydrating cleansing towelettes for all skin types and these are like non irritating non drying fragrance free all of that so basically this packaging is like these are the ones you're gonna love the end but for some reason I haven't purchased them again I loved these though next up even more Neutrogena oddly this is the oil free acne wash and it has salicylic acid in it and I think it was good for my skin I don't think it like dramatically improved my skin. I still have clogged pores and stuff. I don't think it did anything bad to my skin, but I don't think it dramatically improved it either. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Love this stuff. I totally stand by it. I've used it in a bunch of videos. And this one isn't completely gone, but I've had it for a long time. I could use my beauty spoon, but I feel like it's getting old and I just need to Go ahead and toss it and get a new one. I am like getting out of breath right now because I'm going so fast because I have so much stuff and I don't want this to be an 80 minute video. Next up, I've got three mascaras. I've got the Benefit They're Real. Amazing. You guys know I love this one. And then I've got Maybelline The Rocket Volume Mascara and this one's waterproof and there's absolutely no label on it anywhere because that's how much I love it. Then I also have the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express waterproof and this one's not even empty. I just decided to throw it away because I don't like it at all. I don't know if it's me or the brush, but I'm blaming the brush and I'm throwing it away because I don't like it. Next up, I have a Batiste Dry Shampoo. You guys know this is one of my favorite brands and this one is the Floral and Flirty Blush Scent. Didn't love this scent, but I do love the dry shampoo. It still works even though it's not my favorite scent. Next up, I've got one of my all-time favorite products. You probably know what this is already if you've been watching my channel for a while. It's the Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stain in the color Honey. No label on packaging because I've used it so much and it's absolutely gone good to the last drop. I could probably like scoop it out, but I'm not that crazy. I just repurchased. Next up, I've got one of the Bare Minerals Original Foundations in the color Light. For a while, I was using this as kind of like an under eye brightener. I haven't been using it for that lately because I've been using that It Cosmetics powder. Next, I've got another powder. This is one I was relying on for a long time. I was carrying it in my bag. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder, powder Foundation. And oh, actually, what happened was it broke so that was sad and it's over I had it in medium beige it was like my touch-up powder powder of life and for some reason I didn't go back to it I don't know why I think I have commitment issues next up I've got oh my favorite eye makeup remover since I wear waterproof mascara I have to use a heavy-duty eye makeup remover this is the Neutrogena version and this is the generic version of the Neutrogena version it's my favorite I keep going through them at a rapid pace. And next up, I went back to my old fave deodorant. Remember how I was gonna use that other deodorant? That didn't last. Sensitive Skin Secret version, and there is a hair closed in the cap, that is sexy. And then I have the Secret Hypoallergenic version too. I think these are overpriced. I think they like do weird things to my skin too. So I like kinda hate them, but they work so well, I just, I can't stop. It's a struggle, a little bit. It's not a big struggle, I'm not worried about it. Don't worry about me, I'm gonna make it. Next up, I have a shampoo. This is the Moroccan Oil Extra Volume Shampoo. This was kind of like my alternate shampoo with like other shampoos sometimes. I've had this for a long time. It's pretty good. It didn't like change my life, but it was okay. I still haven't encountered a shampoo that changed my life, so someday. Next up, this is the Olay Regenerous Eye Lifting Serum. I like this eye cream. It feels really great. It is a little overpriced though. Next up, I have the CVS version of the oil absorbing sheets. They're kind of the copycat version of Clean and Clear, the blue ones. They are my all-time favorite and the generic work just as well for sure. And now I have a bag of empty self tanners. You guys know I love self tanners and so obviously I use all different kinds. I am an equal opportunity. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but I like to try all different kinds. This is the Jergens Natural Glow 3 Days to Glow Moisturizer. This is just a gradual one and it gives you like a little bit of color. It's nice. It kind of smells bad. Uh, next up, this is the Million Dollar Tan, Tan Icon Extreme Tanning Mist or Spray or whatever. This one's nice. It has more of like a green tone to it. I like that. 
And then this is the Fake Feek Flawless Luxurious Golden Bronze Stealth Tan Liquid. Love this one. I love this one so much. And it's more of like a ready orange undertone, but don't get scared of that. This one's very, very, very nice. And my last empty, I have yet another makeup wipe. Boring, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Anyway, that's it for my empties. I really hope you like this video. If you like empties videos, thumbs up this video. I would really appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions or you just wanna tell me about your day, you can comment down below. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, anywhere. I love when you guys talk to me. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. I'll put the links down below in the description. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all my new videos and if you have already thank you so much I love you and you are my people and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone hopefully it's not full of glass should I just go buy another one anyway and then now there is a box of things <sighs> I don't know let's dive in that didn't look cool I thought maybe it would cool doesn't look cool not doing it here's something kind of weird um if you actually use this like a rolling pin, clearly I don't have an actual rolling pin, so maybe I'll have to double duty this, probably not. It would like put braille into your whatever pie crust. What are you even rolling pin? I don't even know. Rolling pin is a verb, whatever. So the whole idea, it's still got the tag on it. I know I'm ridiculous. I should just take this back. It's like if